Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, I'll solve this logarithmic equation the wrong way. Then I'll solve it the right way and explain the difference. Now, to begin, let us look at the domain restrictions. Of course, you know that for this term to be defined, then x plus 2 must be positive. So we have that x plus 2 must be greater than 0. And of course, from here, we have that x must be greater than minus now, for this second term, you know that this square is going to make sure that this whole argument is always positive. So, we only have that x must not be equal to 5. Because when x is equal to 5, then we have 5 minus 5, which is 0. And of course, you know that 0 cannot be the argument of a logarithm. Now, what we do is we have log to base 2 of x plus 2 plus we apply the power rule so we are going to bring down this exponent that is 2 to the front to become a multiplier and of course you know that 2 times half is going to give us 1 so here we have log to base 2 of x minus 5 and this is equal to 3 now you know that this is addition and remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a times b. So that means that we can write this left hand side as log to base 2 of x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 3. But of course, you know that when we have a statement such as log to base a of b is equal to c, it simply means that a to the power c is equal to b. So we can write this as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 2 to the power 3. And from here, we have that x times x, that is x squared, x times minus 5, minus 5x, five 2 times x plus 2 x and 2 times minus 5 minus 10 is equal to 2 to the power 3 which is 8. Now from here we have x squared minus 5x plus 2x is equal to minus 3x. Now we bring this over to the left hand side and of course it becomes minus 8. So we have minus 10 minus 8 which is equal to minus 18 and this is equal to 0. Now, since the coefficient of x squared is 1, all we have to do to solve this quadratic equation is to find the factors of minus 18 that add up to minus 3. And of course, those are going to be minus 6 and 3. Because minus 6 times 3 is going to give us minus 18. And minus 6 plus 3 is going to give us minus 3. So when we factorize the left-hand side, we have x minus 6 multiplied by x plus 3 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that either x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So we have that x is equal to 6. And from here we have that x is equal to minus 3. But now remember that x must be greater than minus 2. And of course, you know that minus 3 is less than minus 2. So this value of x is not acceptable. So we have that the only value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is x equal to 6. Now, the correct way to solve this logarithmic equation. Because of this half, we are going to multiply through the entire equation by 2 to get rid of this fraction. When we do that, we have 2 times log to base 2 of x plus 2. Plus, of course, 2 times half is equal to 1. So here we have log to base 2 of x minus 5 squared. And 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Now, what we are going to do is that we will apply the power rule to this term. So we are going to take this multiplier up to become the exponent of x plus 2. 
when we do that, we have that log to base 2 of x plus 2 squared plus log to base 2 of x minus 5 squared is equal to 6. Once more, we have a sum of logs. So we can express this left hand side as log to base 2 of x plus 2 squared multiplied by x minus 5 squared is equal to 6. And of course, you know that from here we have that x plus 2 squared multiplied by x minus 5 squared is equal to 2 to the power 6. And to solve this equation, we will start by taking square root of both sides of the equation. And of course, you know that this is going to take care of this and that. So on the left hand side, we have x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to, now here we have plus or minus 2 to the power 3. Of course, you know that because of the square root, we are going to divide 6 by 2. And 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And of course, from here we have that either x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to minus 8. Of course, you know that 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. And you remember that initially when we expanded these two brackets, we got x squared minus 3x minus 10 or x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to plus 8. Now, to solve this equation, we cannot solve this equation by factorization. So let us complete the square. We have x squared minus 3x is equal to minus 8 plus 10. Of course, this is equal to 2. Now we divide minus 3 by 2, square it and add to both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have x squared minus 3x plus minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 2 plus minus 3 over 2 squared. Now, of course, you know that this is a perfect square. So we take 1x and take 1, 3 over 2 and we square and this is equal to 2 plus minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 9 over 4. So here we have 9 over 4. Of course from here we have that x minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. So we have 17 over 4. Once more taking square root of both sides of this equation we have that x minus 3 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 17 over 4. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to 3 over 2 plus or minus the square root of 17 divided by the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Then here, we bring this over to the left-hand side. When we do that, we have x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. We have already solved this equation in the first instance. And from here, we have that x is equal to 6 or x is equal to minus 3. Now, using a calculator, we can approximate these values. From here, we have that x is equal to minus 0.56 or x is equal to 3.56. Now let us look at the restraints. We know that x must be greater than minus 2. So once more, that excludes this. 6 is greater than minus 2. Minus 0 0.56 is greater than minus 2. And of course, 3.56 is greater than minus 2. Then we also know that x must not be equal to 5. And of course, 1, 2, 3 values of x are not equal to 5. So the three values of x that satisfy this logarithmic equation are x equal to 6, 
then approximately x equal to minus 0 0.56 and approximately x equal to 3.56 or you can take the exact values 3 over 2 plus or minus 17 over 2. Now so what happened? How did we lose these two roots in the first method? Now remember that because of this square x minus 5 is allowed to be negative because when you square a negative value you get a positive value unlike in this case when x minus 2 must be positive. So immediately we applied the power rule of logarithms. What we did was that we expanded the restrictions on this term from x must not be equal to 5 to x must be greater than 5. So that was how we lost all the roots between minus 2 and 5. And you can see that these two values of x are between minus 2 and 5. So in a case where you have squared, it is always best to be careful how you apply the power rule of logarithms. Now, as an exercise, I would like you to solve this. It has two roots. Let me know the answer in the comment section. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.